YouTube subscribers. Um, got a little project today that I thought uh, might be of interest to some folks. Got this Bosch jigsaw, and it's great. This, this I've had this for a long time. It's a 1587 AVS uh, variable speed. Always works great. But I have a need for a scroll saw, and I used to have one. I used to have an old Delta Rockwell scroll saw, but it was taking up room and I wasn't using it that much, so I sold it. Now I'd kind of like to have it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little contraption to hold this thing upside down like that so that I can in, use it as a jigsaw to make a couple of projects that I'm working on. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a piece of this flat bar. I'm going to route out a little section in here so that will fit in there and be flush with that. Bolt this up underneath it and attach it to this uh, Drill some holes through this piece of uh, flat bar that will be in there. And then, instead of making a great big box for it and things, I'm just going to bolt the damn thing right to my table right here, just like that. And that'll be my scroll saw right here. So let's get started. First thing we've got to do is we've got to measure up a piece of this. It's probably, yeah, we'll make it, that's five and a half. Let's make it seven and a half. our bracing cutoff saw here. There we got that. Now we're going to get our angle measure out and dress it up a little bit. Okay, now we'll Take this plate off of here to use it as a template. Okay, so this little insert here is two and a half inches wide, and the plate is six inches wide, three and a half. So we got to split that. So one and three quarter from each side. Seventh grade math going on here. I just want to leave enough on the ends here so it can sit into a, a rabbit that I'll put into that piece of plywood there. So it's not really critical this way. Now let's go to the drill press and we'll drill those out. I don't know if you guys out there need some light around your drill press or your bandsaw or whatever. I bought some of these little sewing machine lamps that have a pretty damn good magnet right there. And they're not battery operated. They plug in so the batteries don't wear out. And they work great. So just a tip if you need one. Anyway, let's go ahead and drill these holes. Okay, let's go put a little test fit on those. Put my tap oil back in my little holder here I made. Let's make sure they fit in the steel plate here. Okay, that fits in there just fine. Now, we got to countersink these holes here a little bit. And then, we've got to drill a hole for the blade to come through. And then, i got to drill some holes here that will secure it to that piece of plywood. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, we've got our plate. We've got these countersunk here so the screws sit in there nice and flush just a shade under the surface of the plate so that'll work. And now I'm going to tap these. I drilled them at 1364 so we'll tap them for a quarter inch. Okay, let's give these a test. Perfect. Now we'll take a flat disc, clean this up, 
I'll uh, profile the edges here a little bit, make it a little bit of round so it'll fit my router bit when I go to route out a section to put this in. So let's do that. I think that'll do. Let's put this template on there to kind of get it kind of close to where we need to be. And judging by that, the blade's going to come out right about there. And we're going to put a half inch hole right there. Okay, it might take my uh, little burr and since I don't have a bigger bit, burn that out just to touch. Perfect, that's gonna give me a little bit more clearance there, that'll be just perfect. Well, here's the finished product. My camera battery crapped out on me during some of the last parts of the video, so I missed some steps here, but got everything set up. Got the holes drilled right through my welding table here, bolted to the table. Got my saw on here, plugged in. These are the bolts here that secure it up from the bottom. Give you a look underneath here. You can kind of see what I've got going on there. I'll tell you, this isn't OSHA compliant. I'll probably guarantee that. But I think it's going to work all right. So let's give this thing a whirl. Got this thing. This is just a right height, too, for my little stool here. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I got a piece of three quarter maple plywood here. So let's go see what we've got. Okay, that works out all right. That little blade I got on there makes a nice cut. But there is one problem. We've got a little dust issue. And so we need to come up with something to manage the dust. Got a solution for that too. Right here I've got my handy dandy Milwaukee battery powered blower. And I'm set it on the low speed. And I'm gonna get a little clamp to hold it just on the just enough open here. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see. Pull it that way. By golly, I think this is going to work out just fine. It's going to cut a little better when I'm using it in thinner material which I'm going to be doing anyway. But this works out all right. And the, that blade on there makes a nice cut. Anyway, hope this gives you guys some ideas out there. If you need a little something to come up with a scroll saw and just invert your jigsaw with a little adapter like this, I think it'd be just fine. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there. Love to hear any comments. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's helpful. Take care.